Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Bob's old. Today, got a game from the past for you. It's just a regular, out of the blue game from the past. Not connected to my tournament or anything like that. And it's going to be a game from 1930. Now, if you remember, the 1930 season was famous for a, a big offensive year, but terrible pitching. Which both went hand in hand, I suppose. So I'm going to do the 1930 Philadelphia A's, who won 102 games that year. And they're going to be playing the 1930 St. Louis Browns, who were 64 and 90 and in sixth place in the American League that particular year. And so. That having been said, we will announce the pitchers, the for the pitchers, for the uh, the pitcher, the starting pitcher for the Philadelphia A's will be Eddie Rommel, and Eddie Rommel in 1930 was nine and four with a 4.28 earned run average, and for the home standing St. Louis Browns will be Rip Collins. Rip Collins was nine and seven with a 4.35 earned run. So with all that having been said and out of the way, we will get on with the game. The leadoff batter for the Philadelphia A's will be Bing Miller. And he gets a 4-2, which is a ground ball to first base, and he's out. That brings up Max Bishop. He had a great on-base percentage, and it's uh, shown right there as he gets a walk. So Bing Miller is aboard with a walk, one out. And Al Simmons is up, and he gets a 5-7. That's a strikeout, two away. And that brings up Jimmy Double X Fox, and he gets a ground ball to the shortstop, and that retires the side. You will also note that most of the time I do the DH because I like the DH, but no, I'm going old school on this, and the pitchers will bat with the pitcher hitting cards. So Oscar Malello is up if i pronounce that wrong let me know i i know everybody is you know no one's shy about letting me know that when i mispronounce someone's name so anyway he will lead off against eddie rommel and he gets a 511 which is a ground ball to the first baseman and the first baseman is let's see he is Jimmy Fox, and he is a three. So let's see what happens on that. That is a, what is that? Is that a nine? That's a nine. So nine and three, probably an out. And it is one away. That brings up Lou Blue, another guy with great on base percentage, but only hit 235. 6-8, he will hit a double 1-4 to four or a single. And it will be a single. So Eddie Rommel is aboard, or uh, not Eddie, uh, Lou Blue is aboard with Goose Goslin up. And that is a hit. I gotta, I gotta catch up here a little bit. Um, let's see, and that was a hit for the Browns. And uh, 311 is a strikeout, so that's two down. And Red Cress is up, and he gets a strikeout. So the A's go, or the uh, Browns go one, two, th not one, two, three, but they go down quickly. And we go to the top of the second, where you will have Mickey Cochran, the catcher for the Philadelphia A's batting. He gets a 4-3 on Rip Collins. That is a ground ball to Lou Blue at first base. And Lou Blue is a 2. And that is an 8. That's one away. Jimmy Dykes is up. He gets a 4-8. That is a fly ball to right, 2 away. And that brings up Mule Haas, and he gets a 5-8, and that's a ground to second. That will be to um, Malilo, Malilo, 
and he is a one. He is a second base one, and he makes the play. So, the A's get no runs there. And we go to the bottom of the second. Fred Schulte is up. He gets a 4-10. That's a home run, 1-18. to And that's going to be a home run, a hit and a home run for Fred Schulte, who had only five home runs that year. So they get a hit and a run. Frank O'Rourke comes up. He gets a 3-4. That's a walk. So he's aboard. Ted Gulick gets a 6-9. And that is a double. Just a straight double. And uh, there's only, there's no outs. There's no outs yet. And Rick Farrell is up. He gets a 6-10, and that is another double. Doubles in two runs. And I got to catch up here. But yeah, it's 3 nothing Browns. Surprising. And that brings up uh, the pitcher, Rip Collins. And he gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball A. And no, I did not sacrifice, because I do not like sacrificing. Ask Oscar Malilo is a 3-9. That's a shortstop A, two away. And Lou Blue. Lou Blue gets a 1-4, and he is out. But the Browns struck for three, and we go to the top of the third. And no, the infield was not in for the A's either, because this is going to ex expected to be a very high-scoring game. The A's expect to get a lot more runs, so Joe Bowling, well, more than zero. 4-6 uh, is a fly ball to right, one away. That brings up the pitcher, Eddie Rommel, and he is a four-hitter card. 1-9, and that's a ground ball to short, two away. That brings up Bing Miller back to the top of the order. He gets a 5-7, and that's a strikeout. So, no runs for the A's in the top of the third. We go to the bottom of the third, Goose Gosselin up. And that's a ground ball first base, one away. Red Crest gets a 6-9 double. That's been killing Rommel. And that is, yeah, I don't believe the uh, A's have a hit yet. Fred Schulte, 3-3 is a ground ball third base, B, two away. And that brings up Frank O'Rourke, and he gets a 5-6, and that is ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is, um, or wait a minute, uh, what was that? 5-6, no, it's a pop out to first, sorry, wrong pitcher. So we go to the top of the fourth inning. With the A's up, Max Bishop is the batter. 2-6 is a strikeout. Al Simmons gets a 6-11. And that is a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder is... Let's see what he is. He's a 2. That is Goose Goslin. And that's going to be an out, two away. And Jimmy Double X Fox gets a 6-6. Six, six, and that is a single. So Jimmy Fox gets aboard with a hit. And that brings up a Mickey Cochran, the catcher. And he flies out to right. So the A's get no runs there. This is kind of surprising. I mean, they won 102 games that year. And they're playing against a team that was pretty bad. Ted Gulick. Gets a 111, that's a pop out to second. One away. Frank Farrell, I mean Rick Farrell, sorry. 210, that's a single. So he is aboard with one out. The pitcher up, I will sacrifice. I don't like doing it, but I will right here. That's an eight on the sacrifice, probably worked. Batter is thrown out by first baseman, runners advance. 
and that is to away and that brings up Oscar Malalo and he gets a 310 which is a pop out to first so we have no runs for the Browns coming across there game moving right along top of the fifth Jimmy Dykes gets a 3-7. That's a strikeout. One away. Unbelievable that Rip Collins is pitching a no-hitter. And double-check me on that, but I've got no hits. Mule Haas gets a 1-6 as a ground ball first base. Two away. And that brings up Joe Bowley. And Joe Bowley gets a 6-10. And that is a fly ball to center field. So I know there was no hits there. And we go to the bottom of the fifth with the Browns of 1930 beating the 1930As. Lou Blue is up. He gets a 2-9. That's a strikeout. Goose Goslin is up. He gets a 1-6. That's a ground ball to first. Two away. And Red Crest gets a 6-5. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. So that may be the only three runs they get. So we'll have to see about that. But uh, this brings up the pitcher, Eddie Rommel. 6-9 is a walk. They walk Eddie Rommel. And that was sitting there the whole time. Bing Miller. Bing Miller gets a 2-8. That's a line out to short. One away. Max Bishop gets a 1-3. That's a ground ball second base double play. And the A's are erased that quickly. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Three nothing. Fred Schulte gets a four four. That is a catcher card. Um, yeah. And the catcher I think is Cochran, and he's a one. Yeah. That is a sixteen. Sixteen and a one at catcher is wild pitch followed by foul out. One away. Franco Rourke is up. 4-7 is a ground ball second. That is Max Bishop, and I believe he is very good. He is a 1. Yeah, he is very good. And I think that's an out. 15-1 and one at second is an out. Two away. And Ted Gulick gets a 4-7. And that is again second base. That is a 9. He's out. So, uh, no runs for the Browns. We go to the top of the seventh with Rip Collins still pitching the no-hitter as far as I remember. And uh, we've got a 1-3 on Al Simmons, and that's a pop-out to third. One away. Jimmy Fox gets a 2-5. That is a single, and it's going to break up the no-hitter at the very least. Mickey Cochran. Gets a 210, which is a home run 1 to 17. Let me see here. Yep, home run 1 to 17 on Cochran's card. And he just barely gets it. Two run home run for Mickey Cochran. And that's the second hit. And they have now uh, two runs, and they're right back in the game. Jimmy Dykes up. He gets a 5 4. That's a triple 1 to 9 or a double. All of a sudden, he just falls apart. Uh, and that's going to be a triple. So you got a man at third. One out. Mule Haas up. He gets a 6-7. Single one to three or a line out. And that's a single though. And it knocks in a run. And the A's have tied the game just like that. And that brings up Joe Bowley. Joe Bowley gets a 6-8, and he walks. All of a sudden, Rip Collins can't even get an out. So they're going to have to look at the, at the bullpen and see who they can get up out in the pen. Let's see here. They, this wasn't a big, uh, you know, this era wasn't big for relief pitchers. But they will get uh, George Blayholder up. No, you know what? They're going to get Chad Kimsey. Chad Kimsey will get up because Blayholder is more of a starter. And 
And with two on and one out, you've got Rick Farrell up. And he gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball pitcher B. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no, you're looking at a uh, three. This was uh, actually, it's Eddie Rommel. And 3-3 three, three is a strikeout. So there is two out. And that brings up Bing Miller. And he gets a 5-8. Five, 5-8 eight. Five, eight is a ground ball second base. That is Malello, And he is a 1. And that he makes the play. So, Rip Collins does manage to get out of the inning without any more runs coming across. And the uh, Browns are up in a 3-3 three, three game. Rick Farrell up. He gets a 4-8. That is a pop-out to second. And up steps Rip Collins. They are going to pinch hit for him. And they don't really have a lot of good pinch hitters over here. They are going to pinch hit Jim Levy. Jim Levy is a 3-7, ground ball A, two away. And we'll put the pitcher card at the bottom there. And that brings up the top of the lineup, Oscar Malello. And he gets a 5-5, which is a fly ball. So no runs come across for the Browns. We go to the top of the eighth. And the new pitcher, as I promised, is Chad Kimsey. Max Bishop is up against him. He'll get a 110, which is a ground ball to first base, one away. Al Simmons gets a 4-5. That is a pop out to first, two away. And Chad Kimsey in 1930 was 6 and 10 with a 635 earned run average. And Jimmy Double X Fox gets a 3-6, which is a walk. And that brings up Cochran, and he gets a 1-3, pop out to second base. No runs come across for the A's. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Lou Blue is up. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is going to be a pop out to second, one away. Goose Goslin gets a 3-3. Three, three. That is a fly ball to right, two away. And Red Cress is up, and he gets a 3-7, which is a double one to three or a single. And that's going to be a single. And that brings up Fred Schulte. And Fred Schulte gets a 4-6, which is a fly ball to right. So no runs come across. We go to the top of the ninth. The A's can take the lead here. Jimmy Dykes is up. He gets a 1-6. That's a walk. And Mule Haas is up 6-7. That is a single one to seven. And that is actually going to be a line out to shortstop. One away. Joe Bowley gets a 2-7. That's a ground ball. Third base. A double play. No runs. And now the A's, the Browns, can win this game right here. If they can get a run off Eddie Rommel. Frank Rourke gets a 5-4. That's a fly to center. The center fielder is, I do not know. Let's figure that out. He is a one. And that's a 15. So let's see what happens on 15. One in the outfield, one away. Ted Gulick gets a four or five. That is a ground ball, second base C, two away. And that brings up Rick Farrell, and he gets a 212, which is a fly ball to right field. No runs come in. We're going to have some uh, free baseball here. Extra innings, top of the 10th. And uh, Eddie Rommel's going to lead off, and they're going to let him hit. I mean, the dude can pitch, I suppose. 130 innings, but this is back in the day. We're going to assume he can still keep going. 4-8. That's a home run. 1-13. to 13. Are you kidding me? And no, you're not.
Eddie Rommel. I don't even know if he ever hit a home run. But we're playing the um, uh, the basic game, so that is a home run. And uh, the A's take the lead. Oh, wait a minute. Well, anyway, they do take the lead. Bing Miller is a 2-4. That's a single. That's going to be another hit. I'm probably behind on the hits. And that brings up uh, the Max Bishop, the second baseman. Fly ball right field. One away. Al Simmons gets a 6-3, which is a fly to right. The right fielder for... The Browns is, um, looks like a three. And that's going to be a nine. That's going to be a double, probably. Nine, three. It is a, it's a double three. So, another hit and another run. And they take a 5-3 lead. And Jimmy Double X Fox is up. He gets a 2-11 ground ball short, two away. And Mickey Cochran is up. And Mickey Cochran gets a 5-8, which is a strikeout. But two runs scored, and so they are going to pinch hit for Chad Kimsey. And they'll worry about who might pitch if it comes to that. But right now they've got a pinch hit for him with Jack Burns. And 6-2 is a ground ball first base. One away. Ch uh, Oscar Milo is a 111. That's going to be a ground ball second base. Two outs. And they're down to their last out. Lou Blue gets a 210, which is a ground ball shortstop. And St. Louis loses to the A's 5-3, but it happened in 10 innings. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.